Yeah, what's the move, stankin' bitches? You in tune to Blow Talk TV, baby. And I'm your host, Pissipi Anki, Lamb Lamumba, a.k.a. Blow Lambo from out the barrio, you hear me? Like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to receive more shit shit like this here from your lamb, baby. You know what I mean? Come with the comments, the good, the bad, the pussy shit. Run it. And if you also like to help see this channel grow, you can send a donation to my can shop at Lumumba16. That's L-A-M-U-M-B-A-16. Stank you, motherfuckers. Look at my dumb ass top all right off. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. So check the move. The Ayatollah Marv. And goddamn Melvin Farmer. Versus Rat Williams. Charleston White. I like to call him Coon Williams, man. I just recently ran across a clip of him on uh, It's a Unique Hustle Boss Talk 101 where they was having a sit down. Ayatollah Marv, Melvin Farmer, and Rant Williams, and also the host, which I don't know his name. But, oh, I stepped on the bullfrog. Goddamn, um, like I say, man, um, before I go further in the situation, speaking on the host, like I say to me, he's kind of like a yes man, you know what I'm saying? You know, Charleston White be on there a lot. And the only reason, like I say, the only time I watch any of his shit, if it's relating to somebody I fuck with, like Mob James or um, Crip Mac, 5-5 Five Five Crip, you know what I'm saying? That's the only time I'll tune in. Other than that, I don't want to hear shit he got to say. And I did tap in to see what he had to say on the outpost situation. But back to the host, like I say to me, he's like a yes man. He pretty much let Charleston White have his way like a little bitch, like a little baby, you know, and fails to correct him, fails to question him on some of the things he say. He just kind of go along with it. Like the time when he spoke on C-Mac Delope, how he, um, Spend his money on giving to the poor and stuff like that. He called them drunk, bum, drug addicts. And the host just like, man, like the man doing something stupid. Hey, man, the man can do whatever the fuck he want with his increments. You know what I'm saying? But um, I do got respect for him from a black man to another. And, um, you know what I'm saying? I can't help but respect somebody who built up something and making something work. But... I can, my opinion on him, just like a motherfucker have an opinion on me, my opinion on him, he's a yes man. He's taking advantage of getting a great opportunity from somebody who's buzzing, who bring him a lot of views and, you know, whatever, to his channel. But back to the situation, man, you know, it started off Charleston Williams talking, Charleston White talking, and, um... Ayatollah Marv and um, goddamn Melvin Farmer, they let the man do his thing respectfully. No matter what he said out of his mouth, respectfully, they sat down and listened. You know, and um, when it was time to hand the mic over, the yes man, he's like, can you feel where he's coming from? Already dick riding, already, you know, on this character shit. I ain't say fuck Aramis, I said fuck Nipsey Hussle. That's the same person. When you say you're a piss on Nipsey Hussle grave, Aramis is in that grave. You talking about the same person. There's no way that you can justify what you're saying about somebody who can't defend themselves, who never done a fucking thing for you, who is out to help his people and not lock his people up. You know what I'm saying? out to give his people a second chance like you was given, but you feel like motherfuckers don't deserve a second chance. So, when the OG Melvin Farmer wasn't speaking, he let him know, hey, this, that, and the third. You know, and um, the man ain't really get too many words out 
to he kind of cut off Melvin Farmer, and um, from that point, it broke out into an argument. You could see the pain in the in the host face. You know, he didn't really want it to go that way. You, you, you know what I'm saying? But he really failed to really intervene the way he should have intervened. But like a bitch, Charleston White, he got up and left. You just stated how you down to kill and die over the words you say that come out your mouth. You down to kill and die. Not once I heard you were down to fight. <clears throat> See, when you're talking shit to them young boys, they really ain't going to hurt you. They really ain't going to touch you. Now you're in the room with OGs. These guys is older than him. They don't have no problem with busting his ass up, you know. So, like a bitch, he up and left. And I don't doubt that coming to the interview, like, he would have never even met with those people if he didn't feel it was a safe place. Like, he say, hey, and my spirit went right. You know, so I reckon nobody was allowed to have a gun on them. So as he talked his shit and realized, hey, I ain't got my scrap on me, I finna get up and get the fuck out of here. And um, shortly after he left, you see Melvin Farmer leave the room right behind him. Shortly after, which sounded like the voice of Charleston Williams, Charleston White saying, hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if Melvin Farmer got on his ass in the hallway. I don't know. Only thing we can do is stay tuned to hear from it. But he did leave the room shortly after talking a bunch of shit. And Melvin Farmer went right after his motherfucking ass. Went right behind him. And I'm going to say this before I go. To y'all Charleston White supporters who talk about the man say, be saying some shit. Hell, a bum on the street can say some shit. If you were human, any human, at any point of his life, even if he talked ignorant 24-7, he does have, he or she does have something intelligent to say. You know what I'm saying? What's the difference? You know what I'm saying? But that just shows you how unintelligent Charleston White is. What person supposed to be changed their life around you so educated, you this, that, and the third. But you can't hold a simple debate. You can you do a good talking in front of a camera. You do good talking in front of a host who will let you talk and not debate you on what you're saying or question what you're saying. But as we've seen with that interview and also the interview with Mob James, He's not much a debater. That's where his weak point is. He cannot have a conversation with another man without it going left, without him feeling like he got to have a gun with him, without him feeling like, you know what I'm saying? You know, it, it's what you created, man. If you got to feel like you got to have a gun to go to an interview, what are you in this for? That I'm in St. Louis, Missouri, bro. There's no way in the hell I would let trying to have internet fame cause me harm as I walk through damn near the most dangerous city in this country. It's not worth it. You know, that's not living life where you. it's different if you're a star. You know what I'm saying? But when you just can't go places just because of the shit, that you brought on, not just because crowds of people rushing you and happy to see you and sometimes get out of hand, but just by the bullshit you started. When you say you down to die and kill behind this, how can you talk about any of them game bangers? You willing to put your family, your life, and your family life in jeopardy over this internet fame? That's a damn shame, man. I don't respect you. You a bitch. You a hoe. And... The world's starting to see it. You had a good run. It's been about a year. Now them times starting to turn. Them comments are starting not to be in your favor anymore. You know what I'm saying? And now you build, you building it up where it's the places you can go is minimal. You know, but, hey, man, that's what the lick read on that. We on goddamn on get back with y'all when I hear uh, any more on this subject, man. 
But yeah, Blow Talk TV. Goddamn, stay tuned. Stay rocking with the channel. Stay rocking with the movement. Goddamn, stay dangerous or stay the fuck out of the way. Funky bitches.